Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Klein Tool CL2000 True RMS Auto Ranging Clamp Meter. And I'm going to show you how to use each one of the functions. Furthermore, I'm going to give you real world examples from some of my actual jobs showing how to use these different functions. This meter tests for AC and DC voltage, resistance, continuity, diodes, capacitance, AC and DC amperage, non-contact voltage, frequency, and duty cycle. The phrase true RMS refers to the root mean square for an alternating current. It's a more accurate way to test AC voltage than the averaging technique used by cheaper meters. This is because the sine wave of many electrical sources will be distorted. The true RMS meter allows for these possible sine wave distortions and gives you a much truer measurement of the actual AC voltage. The clamp on meter gives a very quick and convenient way to measure the amperage flowing in an electrical wire. This meter can handle up to 600 volts AC. Here's a real world example using the true RMS voltage function. On this job, I put the meter's leads across the hot and neutral terminals of the receptacle, and the meter showed 119 volts. But when I put the leads across the hot and ground terminals of the receptacle, it showed only 77 volts. This told me that this receptacle had a bad ground. To test DC voltage, put your voltage meter on voltage, then press select, then you'll see the DC symbol. Now take your red positive lead uh, from your meter and put it on the positive terminal of the battery. Now take your common lead from the meter and put it on the negative lead of the battery. The reading is 12.38 volts DC. The next setting up the dial is continuity. So here's a clip from a video that I made about fixing digital multi-location switches. I'm going to turn the meter to continuity right there. It's got a little buzzer that goes off when there is continuity. The other combination we could try is this right is this one right here. And there it is. So these two wires are these two wires. This is the same set of wires. The next function up the dial is diode. This is a special kind of diode called light emitting diode or LED. The longer prong is the positive terminal and is called the anode. The shorter prong is the negative terminal and is called the cathode. Press the select button until you see the diode symbol come up on the screen. Put the red lead on the anode and put the black lead on the cathode. And here you see you get a red light because it is a light emitting diode. An equally important test would be to put the black lead on the anode and the red lead on the cathode. In this case, you should not get the light to come on. This shows you that the LED is good. The next function on the dial is capacitance. This is a 103 nanofarads capacitor. Always discharge capacitors before handling them. To test, put the leads on the terminals. This one reads 101.5 nanofarads. The next functions are microampures, which is used to measure up to 2000 microamps, and AC and DC amps, which can measure up to 400 amps. When testing amperage, you can only put one wire through the clamp. If you put two wires through it, the two wires will cancel each other out and you'll just get a zero. So a way to get around this is use a line splitter. Just plug the line splitter into a receptacle and plug the appliance that you would like to test the amperage of into the line splitter. In this case, I've selected the 10 times setting to increase accuracy, but when you get the reading, you have to remember to divide your reading by 10. Now I'll turn on the coffee grinder and the meter reads about 9.3 amps, which when divided by 10 will give us the correct measurement of 0.93 amps. If you would like to hold the reading at a point during the test, just depress the hold button. To use the tester as a non-contact voltage tester, depress the NCV button and 
point the tester at a source of electricity. You'll hear a clicking sound and the red LED will flash. This is an auto ranging meter, meaning that you can measure a wide variety of measurements without having to reset the range. However, if you would like to manually set the range, use this button right here. The AT on the screen means auto range active. To demonstrate the minimum maximum button, I'll put my leads across a receptacle and turn the meter to AC voltage. When I depress the minimum maximum button, I get a maximum of 121.7 volts and a minimum of 120.0 volts. Now I'll demonstrate the Hertz duty cycle button. Okay, we got 122 volts here, it's a household current. I press the Hertz button one time and I get 59.98. That's 60 Hertz, basically. You press it one more time and you get the duty cycle. That's 50.1%. This refers to the amount of time the sine wave coming into the house spans above the threshold line. The optimum duty cycle for a household current is 50%. 50% above the threshold line, 50% below the threshold line. With 50%, your appliances will last the longest and perform the best. With the meter set to ohms and the leads hooked together, we see that the resistance is 0.1 ohms. That's the resistance of the leads. Now we can press the relative zero button and zero this out. In that way, we can get the resistance only of what we are actually testing. The meter also has an analog bar graph, which responds much faster than the digital display. The meter has a handy magnet on the back of it, plus lead storage areas. The screen features an excellent backlight and the meter features a LED flashlight. In conclusion, I think this is a really good multi-purpose meter. I'll put a link in my video description for the Klein CL2000. Also, I'll put a link for the Fluke 323, which is a really popular and economical multimeter. The Fluke 324 and another meter that I own, the Fluke 325. Also, I'll put a link for the AC line splitter that I use in the video. It's made by Tech Power, and I'll put links for the Klein and the FLIR AC line splitters as well. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.